Well, the strengths of the clinical school here at the SAN, uh, first of all, it's newness. Secondly, it's smallness. Paradoxically, small can be better. Our typical intake at the moment is 34 students. We certainly geared up to take up to 44. It depends on the passing entry figures. But 34 to 40 students is the intake year. I think this allows a more intimate relationship both between the students themselves and between students and their teachers. We've received lots of one-on-one -on -one teaching with consultants, which I think will filter through to all the other cohorts. Um, and we were in a private setting, so there's not many interns, there are not many registrars, so we get one-on-one -on -one direct access to professors, consultants, experts in their field. We have a brand new facility here, which is just awesome. We have unbelievable technology put into it, so we're really top end of the teaching facilities. So all the um, problem-based learning rooms are fully interactive and electronic. We often get our students taught by senior clinicians um, on top of the range bits of um, machinery and equipment and that sort of thing, like having slit lamps. Um, they also have access to things like green light lasers. We're one of the few hospitals in Australia that has green light laser therapy. We not only have the green light laser therapy in the theatre here, but we also have a simulator that the students are taught on so that when they go to go and watch the robotic surgery, they have an idea of what's going on and how skilled the technicians are when they, or the consultants are when they're doing the surgeries. So these aids are very important for the education of the students because it helps them to learn in a safe environment where if they make a mistake it's not critical and it's lots of positive reinforcement while using the equipment so they can feel that they're reasonably confident at the end of it. At the moment not many of the schools have this particular piece of equipment which is known as Sophie and her mum as I've said. Um, the equipment is quite expensive and we've been extremely lucky to have this um, donated to us by a foundation um, to assist with helping students learn how to do a normal delivery. We develop a scenario around the equipment and try and make it as realistic as possible. Um, so trying to get the students to perform activities in real time and asking them, well, what will you do now? What will you do now? Um, helps them to feel like they're actually doing and thinking and preparing all at the same time. Rather than just taking their time, looking something up, we try and run a scenario from A, B, C right through to Z with them thinking on their feet. So they come away from these scenarios thinking, oh wow, you know, now I understand what the pressure's like but at the same time it's a very safe environment and they don't feel threatened at all. So Adam Osmansky is an anaesthetist and he also does uh, some work with CareFlight. Uh, we've had many lectures from him about uh, trauma, dealing with trauma and dealing with acute care uh, in different settings. We've also had quite a lot of training with him in the Sim Centre where he's taken us through um, different scenarios uh, where we've had to work as a, acting as a trauma team to try and deal with the situation. It's really helped to highlight to us um, how important it is to work as a team and also appreciate the work that those type of doctors do. So the students get excellent experience and expertise when in their teaching. We have access to a variety of different sorts of elective surgeries. Uh, with our rooms-based teaching and our different surgical case mix, students are much more likely to see common things across a wider span of their illness. They're much more likely to see hernias here. So we've got a big library downstairs, we've got um, simulation labs, so that includes a fully operational um, theatre um, with anaesthetics and operating table and all the equipment and everything that you need. We've got wards, there's a sim mom who can deliver a baby, there's a slit lamp, there's lots and lots of resources.